Hey, Chris, I saw your note. Uh, I, I'm just opening up the file right now, and I'm looking at this in real time just to give you some feedback, and I hope everybody else can use this as well. So let me, uh, let me just uh, start taking a look here. All, so on the early start times for this first activities, you can start these at one because day one is a full day, day two is a full day, and day three is a full day. So the duration of three days is fine. I don't think that hurts anything here, but uh, it may come into play when you get over um, on the late starts and the late finishes. But this looks good. Uh, let's see. A, that looks good. That looks good. Looks good. Uh, let's see. Typically, the only problem you get on the forward pass is when you have an activity that has multiple predecessors. So let's just take a look. B finishes on day three. Uh, H finishes on day 50. So you take the max. You got day 50. That looks good. Uh, let me just go down here. Um, let's see. G finishes on four. P finishes on 43. That's good. And uh, let's see. Activity Q at 68 days. That is good. So it looks like the forward pass is pretty good. So I think you actually kind of hit the nail on the head in your uh, in your email or your post on the on the discussion board. <clears throat> when you start working the backward pass, you've got to reverse the logic. And let me let me just hold that thought until I get to the point where you got to reverse the logic. Uh, let's see. The last activity here is activity W, so it can finish on day 68, and then uh, you subtracted five days. That's good. Then I look at V. The question is, is V a predecessor to W? And since it is not, it can also finish on day 68 and your duration of three days. So 68 minus 65, that's good. Uh, let's see, activity U. Is activity U a predecessor of U or V or W? It is not, so it can finish on 68 minus 5, 63, that's good. So same process, T is not a predecessor, so it can finish on 68. S is not a predecessor, that's good. P, now, so this is, so this is where we start reversing the logic. <clears throat> because if you look at, uh, let's see, sorry, I was looking at, I thought I was looking at P. I think I had the, the R covered up. So let's see, is R a predecessor? It is not, so 68 is good. Q is not a predecessor for any of the uh, activities after it. Yeah, this is, but this is where we want to get uh, get uh, very cautious here. So since P is a predecessor for R, let's just mark these U and W. What we're going to look at is the uh, the start times for these activities. So, and then we'll kind of walk through it here. I think you've, I think you've got it correct here, but let me just look at this. P, uh, let's see, late uh, start, I'm sorry. Um, let's see, the late start time for uh, activity <clears throat> R is 67. <clears throat> late start for U is 63. And the late start for W is also 63. And so what we've got to look at here is making sure that in the backward pass, that activity P finishes on the earliest of the late start times. And the earliest of the late start times is day 63. So you have 63 here. Uh, you subtracted the 30-day duration. That gives you a start time of uh, day 33, which is correct. So let me take these out of here. And then let's look at O. So O is a predecessor for activity T. And let's see, uh, activity O has a late start time of day 67. So the finish time for activity O is 67 minus 64. So let me, uh, let me leave you with that. I, I think you are right on track. And uh, let me also say that uh, as you are looking at your Slack here, you're gonna notice here that uh, you, it looks like you <clears throat> have found the last 
activity on your critical path here, and that is activity Q. So uh, based on what I see here, your logic is good. Again, just make sure that when you start uh, looking at these late finish times, what you're going to do is look down, look down this list and make sure, in fact, let's find another one here. Uh, let's see, N is not, M is not, L is, so L, we want to be careful with L, right, since L is a predecessor for activity P. Uh, just to take a look at it here, since P is going to start on day 33, you know that L has to finish on 33, so I'll help you out there. Uh, let's see, what else? Just a couple more here. K, K is not a predecessor. Uh, J is not a predecessor. I is a predecessor. So let's see, let me just take that off here. And so we want to be cautious of activity Q. Q is going to start on day, I'm sorry, it's going to, yes, late start day 65. So you know that activity I has a late finish of day 65. And I think you have actually found uh, if you subtract, let's see, the duration of 15 days, I have in fact believed, uh, or I believe that you have found the next activity that is on your critical path. So uh, I, I think you've got the logic, Chris. Just uh, just keep at it here. It's, you know, it's tedious on the backward pass because you've got to reverse uh, the logic, but I think you're in good shape, and I hope this is helpful to everybody else. Thanks.